guys welcome back to the channel I got the OG top on and this is actually far in the future because I got a lot of stuff going on I don't know if you can see I got the lights are in and there's dashboard being made there and sorting out the lights and, and a couple of uh, things going on so uh, today I'm going to be sorting out the hinges well this is a template of the, the door that we need to make for the hinge to count the sunk into it so we will be cutting this out of steel making it about 30 mil deep and then uh, mocking it up so uh, let's get to it right this is uh, the hole we got to work with and this is our template and uh, we just flip it over for the other side so what we're going to do now is uh, scrape that into metal and put a 30mm wide, well deep I suppose, uh, all the way around the outside of it. Right, so we need to get two of these, if we can, out of here somehow, and then uh, we'll cut them out then. Two of them cut out. So let's see how it's gonna go. It's gonna be sunk in there like that. That's lovely that. And uh, obviously the same for the other side. So now we've got to make a 30 mil perimeter all the way around it. The box is in now. We've got a 30 mil strip. Now all we gotta do now is well that all the way around there yeah, on both of them now. So uh, that's what's going to happen next. Okay, I've gone to the bender and uh, just bent up some pieces to go. So we got a weld all the way around here now to make those boxes. And, uh, and then we can go test fit them. So this is going to be up in here, like so. And it'll be, it'll be sealed off. I might even actually fiberglass into there to keep, their, uh, keep the water out keep it separate and then maybe put a drain a drain plug in here or something that's come out well this is what we started off with and after looking at a few photos or whatever we might we've changed it to this now so we've got a big thick plate on there like you see this opening here is for when the when the door opens up it goes actually inside that well so um, yeah, we just gotta copy that now with that one. Okay, so this is what the new setup looks like. That dish there is for the door to go into. Obviously, a hinge goes onto there, and we've done the same on the other side. It's a bit off that side because. Uh, sides are slightly different but that's that bit done okay we're doing a partitioning from the engine to the boot i got the, the lock on and the striker pins already in that's working this needs to come out that's why it's bolted in that one's already done with the striker pin on it as well that was already working so we're just seeing where the aluminium panels are going to be because they all got to be uh, able to come out to take the engine out. Mounted the, the pulley system for the boot lid and the engine cover. Now we've also got the beginnings of a dash. And instrument panel. So that's uh, gonna be in an upcoming video as well. Alright, I know it's a bit of a uh, mismatch on the videos, but um, the videos are probably going to stop now for a couple of months because uh, i got to save up for the door glass because I know there's a couple of you wanting to know how I'm going to do my doors. 
Well, we've pre-prepped uh, the door hinges, the plates and all where they're going to go on. So um, I don't know if you want to do that yourselves first. And then um, once I bought the glass, we can make the frames, glass frames, and then uh, make the doors, which I know a couple of you are uh, quite uh, anxious about. But we're just going to have to wait for that. So um, we'll have to see you in a couple of months' time, I suppose. Sorry, guys, but... Um, you know, I gotta, I gotta work for a living as well as everybody else. So uh, I like to do it straight away, but I can't. So we'll see you then.